With Hurricane Irma potentially hitting Florida, farmers across the state aren't taking any chances when it comes to their livestock. People around Florida are looking for shelters to leave their animals during the storm. At the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion in Ocala, phones have been ringing nonstop since Monday night. I've had people in tears on the phone calling me. Um, people treat their livestock um, and their animals just like their family. With a storm like Irma, many livestock owners are worried about what would happen if they left their animals without protection. In the rural areas, you know, we could be without power for two to three weeks. So if they don't have a pond or um, an area for them to get water um, and they just use their wells, that powers out and they, they need water. People bring their animals here to the Southeastern Livestock Pavilion because these stalls are safe and secure. The pavilion is currently at capacity with 350 people still on the wait list. But if your barn is not super strong, UF experts say it may be best to leave your farm animals out in the field. The number one death of livestock in Andrew was barns collapsing on livestock, whether it be horses or cattle or sheep or any other livestock. Um, barns collapsing and then the number two one was electrocution. Sydney Sanders says animals are smart enough to find high ground during flooding and they may huddle together to ride out the storm. In the end, it's up to nature. If the barn blows down, the wind's going to blow them around just like it's going to blow uh, the, the barn around. So um, it's, it's out of our hands. God's, God's kind of in control right now. So we're all taking the best chances we can. Denise also tells me that if she doesn't hear from horse owners by tomorrow, she'll be freeing up spots on the wait list. Reporting in Ocala, Veronica Vernaccio, WUFT News.